Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and uh, this is the this is an edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. And today we're going to talk about SSL ciphers. And so to give you a little bit of background, if you guys remember like the um, um, the stories about the NSA doing wiretapping or maybe government doing different you know eavesdropping and that kind of stuff. The, uh, a lot of people got upset about that, of course. Even Google said, hey, if you guys are going to do that, we're just going to encrypt everything. And so, uh, and so a lot of people have gone, not just because of governmental stuff, um, but a lot of people have gone to SSL traffic to just start encrypting all their internet traffic. And so with that in mind, uh, the, uh, you know, the, these SSL ciphers become a big deal because a lot of traffic you know, comes into the F5's big IP and you need to have at least a decent understanding of what's going on there on the big IP in terms of the ciphers that you're going to be able to uh, to offer up to these different clients uh, or to a back-end server. And so if you can imagine, let's say you have a client here that you know requests uh, your web application and you got a server back here and then you got the big IP in the middle. So this is a highly sophisticated drawing right here. <laughs> So client, big IP, back-end server. And so a lot of, what a lot of our customers do is they, uh, they terminate SSL right here on the big IP. And the big IP does a phenomenal job of SSL termination. Uh, but, but again, the question is, well, when we terminate that, that SSL or when we offer up a different SSL cipher suite, what, what are we offering? Like what, what are the options that are on this big IP? And the answer is there's a whole ton of them. And so depending on what version of TMOS you're running, um, you're going to have a whole host of different options in terms of SSL ciphers that you can offer up to a client or a back-end server. Um, there, is, there was an article that was just written, David Holmes uh, wrote an article and, and he actually referenced another chart that, the, that another guy had uh, put together that lists every single version of TMOS and then every single SSL uh, cipher that's available on that version. And so, uh, so we'll link to that here on this video. So you can go out there and actually dig into that, look at that chart. It's a really cool chart uh, to see exactly what's offered on a, a given version of uh, TMOS. Um, so, okay, so again, client request uh, back in server, Big IP is gonna terminate the SSL. But on, but on the Big IP, again, what, what, is all, what are all the SSL options that are offered there? Because uh, some people, you know, some people want to run elliptic curve uh, cryptography. Some people want to do, uh, you know, AES. Some people want to do RSA. Some people want to do all kinds of different stuff. And so, uh, so again, there's a whole bunch of them offered. What I was going to do really quick is go over an example of a cipher suite here. And this would just be one, let's say, that's one of I don't know, say 50, 60, 100, whatever it is that depending on your version of TMOS that would be available for you to offer up to your clients uh, that request your web application. But so when you go in to look at a, at a uh, Cypher suite, you're going to see all this craziness right here. And so this is, just an, this is just one example. But what this is, this stands for elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman ephemeral. And that's the type of key exchange that you're going to use. And then this is RSA, that's the authentication type. Uh, AES is the, is the block cipher algorithm. That's, you know, once you do all the key exchanges and now you're doing the bulk cryptography, that's the, that's the uh, type of, of cryptography that you're going to use at that 128-bit uh, strength. And then if there's a mode, this is the Galois counter mode, uh, the mode may be listed as well in this cipher list. And then over here, this is SHA-256. This would be like a, like a, a signature, di like a digital signature. This is the message authentication code right here. Um, and so, anyway, so this would be just one example. Again, you may have, you may have this exact same thing with, say, you know, SHA-128 or maybe AES-256 or whatever, but, but everything else may stay the same. So there's a bunch of different options. And so if you want to know, hey, I just want to know all the different options that are on my big IP, there's a, uh, there's a command that you can run, and it's tmm, tmm, dash, dash. Uh, and on the client side, you can say client ciphers. And I'll just write this up here. Hopefully you can read my, uh, my writing. And then on the server side, it's uh, server ciphers. So you can, you can run this command from the command line and it will list every single cipher that's available on the big IP um, that you have to offer up to your, uh, to your clients or your servers, depending on what side you're on. Um, okay, so some people may say, hey, you know what, it's awesome that I've got all this stuff, but even though you give me this whole list of SSL ciphers, 
maybe I don't want to use anything with, you know, um, 128 bit or lower, whatever. Or maybe I don't want to use the SSL V3, uh, anything with SSL V3. So there are some options that you can, that you can append and you can use the, uh, the little exclamation point, which exclamation point does not mean that you're excited about this option. It means that you don't want to use it. So if you do the exclamation, let's say for example, SSL V3. What that's going to do is that's going to explicitly remove any SSL V3 from anything that you offer up to your client, let's say. Um, and, and so, and, but there's a lot of different modifiers you can put, not just a SSL V3, you could put any number of things there. Another one that I was going to mention is uh, you can do this little at sign and I'll mention, and I'll use the, uh, I'll use the example strength. It, let's say you put at strength, for example, then it will, it will actually um, sort the ciphers based on the strength. And so when, it, when the client browser is going to come in and negotiate that SSL session, then the big IP is going to offer up the highest strength cipher first. And then, uh, you know, and then, and then when there's a match where the, where the browser says, okay, I got that, then you're going to make sure that you always uh, connect with the highest uh, strength that you possibly can. So the, the point I wanted to make here is not to go through every single you know, um, uh, option that you have, but to let you know that there are some ways to modify these things. One, one uh, note is, uh, or one reason that this is good is when you're creating your profile, if you use the default, if you just say default, which you know, we can't, I guess we can't uh, blame you for that. It's easy to use default, you know, it's there and it's, and, it's, and it's a great thing to use. However, the default changes with each version of TMOS. And so if you go from say 11.5 to 11.6 or maybe 11.6 to 12.0 or whatever, then the default's gonna change. But if you have used these different modifiers to make sure that, hey, you know, I don't want SSL v3 anymore or whatever it is, then as the default changes, then you're gonna ensure that you still have these, uh, these things either taken out or or promote it or whatever it is. So that way it, it kind of helps with the, uh, as the default changes, your, uh, your specific settings are not gonna be modified uh, like that, not, not affected. So anyway, so those are a few things to, uh, to consider with SSL ciphers. Again, F5, big IPs do an amazing job at SSL termination. We just wanna make sure that everyone, you know, has a, has a little bit better understanding of what is offered there on the big IP. So, uh, so get out of here play around with these, uh, with these commands. Uh, we may throw some articles out there to sort of explain <clears throat> maybe what all this is in a little more detail. And again, we'll, uh, we'll link to some of the articles that are already out there. So thanks to, uh, to David Holmes and some of these other guys who have already written some great articles on Dev Central. So, so thanks for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this and we will see you out there in the community. <laughs>